So, got me adjustable zigs. I'll bang these out to about 100 yards. This is the larger version. I've used a smaller version, but there's the larger version. Some beads, some big 8mm beads to stop the ring from sliding down. I couldn't get any rig foam. I could only get one of these session packs by Gardner. So I had to nick the couple of small black bits of foam that are out there. Cut in, so I've got about four zig baits, so I need three really. I can always reuse the one if I catch a fish. Some hooks, little size 10, I like size 10. Fox, Calder, ESP, little size 10 wide gapes, you know, any of those. I thought I'd, um, and that's it. Look at that, look. Drill and double strength. It's the best floater fishing line and the best, best zig line. That's £10, they did have any eight, so all I get, get was the £10. Um, got a nice bit of stretch in it, and that's what you want. When you're playing a fish on a six foot hook link, underneath a lead, on a rod, it's, uh, you want something that stretches. That's the daddy, get on that, definitely. If you're floater fishing and for your, and for your um, zig fishing. So that's that, got me bits and kits and bits and pieces. I'm gonna set one up and then just show you um, what it look what it looks like basically what the um what the rig looks like and all that and then we're going to get them out and play. see if we can get one on a zig got my kit i couldn't resist it i had to tie two up and get them out there we've got two rods out there at the moment there you go look out there one out about there and one off the end of the island so i banged them out there adjusted them down i fish one about two foot below the surface the other one about three foot below the surface so let's give it a, let's give that a go. Right, let's go and have a look up there at the kit and how I set it up and I'll talk you through it, why I do what I do and how I do it. Right, let's have a look up here. Right. Okay. That. It's, um, right, let's talk you through this. Okay, right. This is your adjustable zig. First thing that goes on is your boom section with your lead. Three ounce lead, you don't need no more than that, Big stiff boom, bit of foam ball there which runs up and down the line. This keeps, this keeps that off, off the floor if there's any weed or anything like that. Bead, 8mm bead, so it's running along. Then you have your zig, your adjustable zig float. Little sleeve on there that helps with the casting, stops it tangling. And there's our line, and all the way down. There you go, a little bit of black foam. I've chopped it up a little bit so it looks a bit, uh, it's not uniform. And if you can see, I've actually put the end through the hook so it keeps it nice and neat on it. It doesn't twist around, doesn't anything else. So I don't need a bit of foam when I'm casting it out. That's the thought behind it. Oh, something I forgot to mention was that the length of your hook link, I do it from the spigot down to the reel. There's a reason for that. I do it roughly about that length. It's roughly about five foot, I suppose. It's, it's because if you can't see that bit of black foam at 80 yards, which you won't, even though I use binoculars to look out there, you know it's five foot, okay? And you know it's from the spigot to the reel. So when you cast it out there and you pop it up, keep popping it up to keep letting line out, you can't see the hook bait, the black foam come up on the surface, but you can see, you can see the top of the float there. You can see that come up on the surface. So then all you do is, you tighten up, you keep tightening up so that just disappears. And then you take a mark from the spigot and you just wind back onto your reel, back to the reel. And then you know, near enough, that hook bait's on the surface. So then you can put it down six foot or you can put it down three foot, or you can put it down seven foot, depending on the depth of the water out there. So then you can adjust them up and down during the day to find the right depth that the fish are hopefully feeding at. So I've banged two out, I've got one at three foot, I've got one at two foot, one out by the island, the other one out off the end of the island. This third one, I'm gonna get it out, out to the right where I saw a fish 
just for dark show. So, you know, with his son, they've got to be up in those upper layers. They're not on the bottom, that's for certain. Well, I'm pretty sure I would have had a bite. It's looking good out there. So that's it. I'm going to get that out, pick them out, and then we'll see what happens. See if we can get a bloody bite. Zigs have worked. I knew that was going to work. It's um, it's just going to have a look at it down there anyway. It's only a small one, but it doesn't matter, does it? There she is. Look at that. Look, nice common. Nice common in the net. There we go. Twenty-three pound two. Let's get her back on a zig. Get her back to fight another day. So what have we learned from this session? Don't be afraid to change tactics. Watch the fish, see what, see what they're doing. If they're fizzing up, fish on the bottom. If, if they're up in the upper layers and you've got a bit of a fly hatch on, those little flies, those little nymph things that I see on the, coming out to play, so to speak. Get yourself up the shop, get some zig stuff like I did, and get them out there, you know. Get the zigs on. They're, they're feeding, you know, they're feeding on something. And there's always a chance of a bite. You just got to work out what that chance is, and don't be afraid. A lot of people I find um, from comments on, on zig things I've done and on that live feed as well was that they've never tried zigs before. Get on them, guys. Honestly, it's really worth having a go with them. You know, it's like all, all these different tools and different ways of fishing. Give them a go. If, if the situation's right, give them a go. So um, you know, like, don't be afraid to use the zigs at night either. I've had a lot of bites at night on the zigs. So don't forget, guys. Subscribe to this channel for all live feeds, tips, tricks, you know, real tackle reviews, everything like that. Subscribe down over there or there. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for your support. See you next time.